<laughs> hey everyone so i really want to try something a little bit different today um i want to highlight two interesting anomalies and some strange parts of the clip and that's why you're hearing seeing me but enough with the talking i'm going to roll the clip through and then highlight interesting parts see ya <laughs> the fuck? Hi? See you. <laughs> Come closer, please. Come on. <laughs> Hi. Hi again. Um, yeah, so the sun is making it kind of difficult to see, um, for me to see. Um, but yeah, and I already know what's happening, so I'm just trying to to clarify. So first, there's for those who are wondering, I I don't have the technology yet to make the sun not affect me, so don't judge. Um, the the entire thing started with with this first thunder, and after that, there is like a wave-like expansion of like somewhat blue light. It's very thin, and I recommend you to go to somewhere, someplace dark, <laughs> um, because it's very faint. But it's really visible. Like it's it's it seems like it's expanding from the thunder. Let, let me let me play this. And only then, like when it reaches the top, the lights appear. For those who didn't see, let me replay it. So, I'm kind of trying to do this frame by frame. So it's coming. Like for me, it's too bright, but... You can really see it expanding. And only when it reaches like, like the, the, here, the top part, only when the light reaches like the top part, this, like the sequence of light appears. And I, at first I didn't really notice them. Like, you only see like two or three. And I was still thinking like I was filming the thunder. I don't know why I tried to film the thunder, but yeah. And then they were like, hi. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And I also really try to like find out if it's like a, if it's like one big object, like maybe the thunder is showing something. But I really try to play it frame by frame. There is there is one brighter thunder, but you you can see something. Hi.
Like some people said, like that's that's some kind of strobe light or something. Bro, what what? Where do you live? What kind of strobe lights do you know that are doing this? <laughs> There it kind of felt, I don't know, odd, because I was like, hey, what are you doing? And instantly they kind of spread, they spread a bit. Um, that's, that's why I'm pretty sure it's not like one object. Um, and they like kind of darted off to the, you see them spreading out a little bit and then going to the other side of my, of my window. Like, just so I can still see them. And then they just dart away. Start off. And come back. And I, I don't know if you can really tell, but you can really see them coming, like, from... from the distance. <laughs> come closer, please. Now this is the second time. I'm like, they, it, it didn't land like above me once <laughs> or hover above me once. And I'm like, come closer, please. And it's like literally stand like hovering above me. Um, you kind of hear me saying, come on or something. It's like that was because I wanted I really wanted to film a solid object because people on the Internet really want to see things and even if they see things like the clear it gets it's more likely they call i don't know uh photoshop or something but yeah this is the last like the the second anomaly like how it disappears see that like i'm pretty sure you noticed it the first time but i i don't know any light that goes off like this you know it you, you can visibly see it splitting in half like it's it's splitting in two coming blue and then darting off in in one in one location like you can really see it going to that's why that's why i filmed the mercedes tower you can really see it like uh flying to the general direction of the Mercedes tower. And yeah, I that was that was the last time I saw these lights that day. Very strange. And I have seen these lights again like the the next night. So I went out to investigate. Um it wasn't that I'm sorry if you hear the construction. Um I'm not going to use this clip if you do. So you can it, it it wasn't just one light like it was just like this this single light you saw um just kind of going somewhere you know and i was like okay let's let's see and there was like 500 meters away there was like a horseshoe shaped light in the sky it was it was also white like the same type of white and so I went there, and as I walked there, there was like strange aurora shit kind of lights next to it, and <laughs> I don't know. It it was very strange, but it was like I don't know, 10 p.m. There was people outside. Like there were there were people, but I don't know. They they didn't really they didn't really care. I mean. 80% of us really just just stare at our stare at our phones all the time. Like even if there would be a light in the sky, you wouldn't see it. <laughs> it was like the video I made the, the next day. There were there were literally people literally walking by me and not noticing anything because they they were like like this. And yeah, that's also part of why I'm doing this, because kind of people do care, but they don't really care. Um 
so yeah, I followed that light and it, it kind of, the second I went there, like the second I was like under it, um, it disappeared and went somewhere else. So I kept walking and I kept walking and the last time I saw this horseshoe kind of shaped light, um, it was directly above like a, a house, like a, a family house, not like apartments. And I was like, like literally almost on their lawn, you know? Um, so I was very uncomfortable. It was like, yeah, 10.30 or something. Um, and then there was like this, this small light kept appearing. So I kind of went there because yeah, that, that horseshoe light was gone. Um, and I, I kind of did it the same way as I did in this video you saw, um, because <laughs> the reason why I did this clip, it's actually, I, I cut it to two minutes, but it's actually fi over five minutes long because I don't know. I, I kind of felt like the urge to film. That's like on the second, um, the first UFO, like the, the square shape thing that's flying. I literally got the feeling it would come like I, I was looking at the exact spot on the window. It would, it would appear like one or two seconds before it appeared. <laughs> and yeah, that kind of strange feeling. And that made me videotape it, um, the first time. And the second time I was like, I, I really gotta know what it is, you know? And yeah, I followed it for like three hours <laughs> and last location i was like in some park somewhere and then then nothing like it just disappeared and i was sitting there um waiting for something <laughs> like in the middle of the night you know it was like I, I, I don't know i was out until like 12 12 something it was like the next day i came home um yeah and today like this the, the next night i didn't see anything and well, I, I would keep you posted if something happens. But the thing is, like, <laughs> this, this, I know people really, like, they would really care if, if they would see this. But I don't know. There's, like, I'm, I'm really grateful for the 60 people that watch daily. Like, really? You, you, guys, you guys comment. You guys share. Um, I get a subscriber almost every day. So, like, I'm really happy about that. But... <laughs> I don't know, you, like the, the, the subject is so like gigantically enormous. <laughs> um, we, we can change the world with that. And it's, it's our right, you know, like, I don't know if there's like an ant colony, you would, you, you wouldn't treat any ant individually. You would like, if, if five of them like piss on your foot or something, you would like, fuck you guys. And, and I don't know, start trampling them or something, you know? You would you wouldn't judge them individually. You would ju just like see these ants are annoying, and like what Dr. Greer says, we, we are doing annoying things, and not just annoying. We are really doing horrible things to not only us but also to NHI, and this has to stop. And this has to I don't know. We we need to be aware of this because do you want to be judged? for things they do i don't so please help me out and to widen my reach and to make this video and the other videos like i i really put my like my heart in it <laughs> since i've seen the first uh ufo in, in on 6th of uh april yeah um yeah and i i, I really like this is this is what i do now you know and I'd really, I'd really appreciate it if you, if you leave a subscribe, if you share it to, to a friend who'd be interested in this. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the next video.